So I'm here with Duncan Blake to start talking about space law and what that means. So Duncan, what do you do? What is space law? <laughs> That's a really big question. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's it's uh, so I, I do practice space law. I, I practice it in in a commercial context, but I also teach space law. So I'm at University of New South Wales in in Canberra, where I'm a lecturer in military law and space law and strategy. Um, but I, I had 22 years as a military lawyer as well, um, including doing space specifically for for quite a few years for for defence. Um, so now I'm a lecturer at UNSW Canberra. I do space law commercially um, and I still do a bit of reserve work, including with Defence Space Command. Yeah. So when you say commercial space law, are there companies that are employing lawyers in space? Is that actually what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's, there's uh, a lot of the startups that are now beginning to have their own in-house counsel. Oh, okay. um, space lawyers or, or lawyers that do a little bit of space yep, law. Yep. Um, a lot of their time, though, is not necessarily just on space law. If you're going to have an, a, a startup, any startup, then it has to deal with a whole lot of commercial issues yep. like leasing property <laughs> um, and, and setting up the corporate structure and, and that sort of thing. And I guess I, like IP and technology and stuff as well? That's, that's right. But they also have to get um, licenses and permits for their rockets or their satellites or their launch facilities. And so in-house counsel would do that. Um, lawyers who are outside of the companies might in the future be more involved in dispute settlement. So oh, okay. where, where one company has a dispute with another in respect of satellite operations or, or launch operations, or maybe one company has a dispute with the regulator about getting a license or permit. Okay, all right. And so, so space law is now becoming quite a big thing in your view? It is, it is. And in fact, one of the contexts that I didn't mention just then, of course, is the government context, and in particular, the, the military context and diplomatic context, which is about, in the military, it's about how uh, satellites are used perhaps for military purposes and rockets used for military purposes. And the diplomats are very concerned about developing the international legal regime for space as well. And so it's a really big topic that we're going to go launch into. Yes.